So, how does the process work then? Well, basically you need to start with your CAD file. Now here we've got a an iPhone case. Now this has to be in 3D format. Sadly it can't be in 2D or from an illustration or picture, so you're going to have to get it drawn up somewhere if you can't draw it up yourself. You'll then need to save this from its native format into STL, and this is where we take it over to our STL correction program called Magix, which is a specific program for checking files direct for 3D print. If you're unsure of how to convert to STL, why not have a look at our guide under the Tutorials tab? We then take it over to the printer software, where it slices up this 3D CAD data into thousands of layers, which are then sent individually to the printer. I then wander off over to the machine, press a few buttons, and then walk away. The machine then takes this data and builds it up layer by layer. You can see here the nylon powder bed. This is heated just below 170 degrees. Lasers are then fired in, tipping it just over the melting point at just the right place. These lasers are effectively colouring in the cross sections. Once one cross section is completed, the bed is then lowered 0.1mm and an arm sweeps across a new layer of nylon powder. The process is then repeated as the next cross section is fused. Once all the layers have been completed, the powder container is then removed and taken to another station for unpacking. Much of this powder can actually be reused, not 100% of it as there is some wastage just around the edges of the parts. We then use a stiff brush to remove some of the stubborn powder around the edges and then compressed air to get to all the hard to reach bits. Once all the dust is gone, the part can be removed and inspected. Now for something that didn't actually exist about two hours ago, that, oh, I've left the compressor on, sorry, what was I saying? Um, yeah, for something that didn't exist two hours ago, doesn't this just look great? All I have to do now is package it up and deliver it to my unsuspecting friend. Now the turnaround time usually for these kind of things is two days on our express uh, service or eight to ten days on our economy service. So you get a good choice to fit your requirements. There we go, all done. Lovely jubbly. And now finally the reveal in a relaxed environment. Notice our exquisite packaging. And look how happy he is. Yes, now hopefully you will all be as happy as Roger is uh, with your received goods from us. Thanks. Bye.